Hello everybody, it's me, JTJ. I know it's been a while, and before this video's over, I'm going to explain where I've been for a while, and what is going on, and what's going to happen. But for now, today's review is Gran Turismo. I just saw Gran Turismo, and I'm going to start this review off by um talking about... <laughs> The audience a little bit uh first off annoying audience i was in there with a few guys were smoking vapes nothing against smoking vapes but we're in a movie theater it's kind of distracting to see the smoke come up i felt like i was in cape fear in that one scene <laughs> And then there's the people that were just clapping. It's a movie, people. It's a movie. And it's not even a movie premiere. Don't don't be clapping like that. The people who made the movie, they're not there. That's who you're really clapping for. Fuck off. Then. Just saying, you know, don't don't take a, some advice from that um insurance commercial people. Just saying. And then there's this one lady who just kept being loud behind me, just like, oh, baby, 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 you know, she's just all being emotional. I... No, this is a movie theater. The movie theater is a place where people want to watch a movie. They don't want to hear the audience. Let's remember that in the 50s, there was a PSA. How would you like to hear this on the screen? instead of the great show you came to see. That's what you sound like. Honest. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping this theater quiet so everyone, including you, can enjoy it. I remember lots of adults and kids, too, paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute quiet. You know, you've seen the Family Guy <laughs> joke about it. It's a... Uh... That man, he he knew what he was fucking talking about. He he wasn't being mean. He was being honest. Just saying, you know. But anyway, let's get into it. Um. So it's basically this underdog story about some kid in Wales who wanted to be a race car driver who was super obsessed with. A race car simulator game. It, he calls it a simulator. I call it a game. It's it, it's a game. Okay? It's a game. But, you know, he apparently had what it took to be a race car driver. And let me tell you, this movie wasn't all that bad. I, I, I usually am for biopics. Even sports biopics sometimes. And I do love a good underdog story, but this one, this one, uh, I kind of liked. I'm not going to lie. This one was very fun to watch. You know how you're playing a v racing game and you just have that feeling and you're not, and then when you finally win, like, you're just like, ah! and I usually go, ah! that's usually the noise I make when I'm trying to race for something in a game and I actually succeed. Or I'm trying to succeed anyway. Usually I still make the noise even when I succeed, I'm not gonna lie. But um, the entire movie is that feeling that's in your chest right before you win the race in those games. That's the feeling you get when you're watching this movie, I'm not gonna lie. I actually had that feeling, I'm all like, rooting for this guy, you know? He's just, like, trying to prove his dad, his brother, that they were wrong about him, you know? I mean, I think we all have those issues with our parents, but they never talk about the other family members in your family who root against you. Not gonna say who, but if you're watching this, you know who I'm... You know it's you. Come on. Okay? I'm not gonna point fingers. I'm not gonna say names. 
But if you're watching this, anyway, um, so this was probably not my favorite movie of the year, but it might make the list or at least be an honorable mention. Not going to lie. I actually am not afraid to say it. This was actually a fun watch for me. But, um, yes, my uh, rating for it, I'm going to give it a solid 7.9. I think that's a pretty good rating for it, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, next thing I want to get into today is I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying I'm not going to be doing reviews, but I might be so busy, wrapped up, and I'm going to tell you what I'm wrapped up with. I'm working on a movie, a horror comedy drama, and this movie is kind of my baby, and I'm going to be working very hard on this movie. I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning me working on this film, but I'm going to be working pretty day and night on it. And that might mean not as many reviews, but I will try my best to at least give you something. I might give you an update on the movie. I might give you a review here and there. But while I'm working on this movie, it's gonna be 24 seven. And I'm not gonna stop working on this movie until it's either in theaters or it's in a film festival. So, yeah, I plan on working pretty long hours making this movie. I'm probably going to lose sleep over this movie. I'm probably going to lose, I know, don't know, track of time. I might even forget to eat a meal here and there making this movie. Not that I'm worried about eating a meal. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be... Pretty busy folks um I will do my best once again but I will give you updates on the movie but those will be separate from my reviews not counting this but I thought I should mention it now since I have the chance and to get it out of the way but till then stay tight <laughs>